The Yanomami word for hair is koi. Uh, many years ago, I was conversing with a Yanomami in Puerto Ayacucho, and he said that you should be called koi koima, which could be translated as the hairy one. So I'm not, not exactly sure how flattering that is. But uh, as you can tell, I have a full beard and mustache, and, and if I don't trim it at least every other day, it can get quite bushy. For a Yanomami, having a full beard is, is quite a phenomenon. Uh, some of the men do have facial hair, um, some of the mustaches and, and chin hairs, but um, they never really grow the full full beard uh, like I have here. And as you could tell from this picture, uh, this this girl was was rubbing my beard for like a good good ten minutes, and it was um, I guess it was very strange for them to see a, a Yanomami with this kind of facial hair. Uh, the little children love to feel the stubble, and it's really, it's really funny and, and cute. Once my little nephew Felipe climbed into the hammock, and he, he, he loves taking my. He would grab my head, and he would rub his cheek against the side of mine to feel the scratch of the beard. And every time he did that, he would jump back with, with, with amazement, and and, 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 and it was very amusing for him. And he was so astonished by the scratch of my beard, and he kept doing that over and over, and. After a while, I had to uh, tell him to stop because it was getting getting a little annoying. My inventory of field supplies always includes scissors and clippers uh, because I don't I don't like my facial hair to grow too long in the jungle. It's just it's just so uncomfortable and, and so hot and and it's just much easier to have um, less facial hair in the Amazon, at least in in my opinion. Also, when I show up in the village, the young men and the boys eagerly approach me and ask me to cut their haircut. It's become a tradition now. And uh, you know they'll ask for either a trim or sometimes they'll ask for the whole buzz and and it's it's really funny because we get we kind of get together and have a little haircut party and uh, you know whether it's whether it's a bad case of head lice or they just uh, want to want a, a little bit of a break from the sweltering heat of the jungle a, a haircut can be quite relieving in the Amazon. The women, they come up to me and ask me not to cut their hair, but they, they generally ask me to cut their toddler's son's hair. And it's interesting because they, they never ask me to cut their hair, whether it's a young girl or a woman or, or, or an elder woman. Um, and I've never seen a man cut another woman's hair. Now, I cannot definitively say that this is a concrete fact of Yanomami culture. It's just something that I've observed. Um, and this would require further anthropological inquiry. Traditionally, the Yanomami don the, the pudding, pudding bowl haircut, and um, they, they use a, a piece of wood, or bamboo wood, or, or a reed uh, that they call sunuma, and it has very, very sharp edges, sharp enough to, to cut their hair or, or even shave parts of their head. Just to give you an example of how sharp uh, these edges are, here's a short video clip of, of one of my nephews um, uh, cleaning and gutting and, and cutting up a fish. And I was just, I was really impressed on, on how sharp the, this piece of wood was. It was almost like he was using using a knife. Some of the Yanomami uh, will shave a, um, a circular part of their head to create a tonsure, usually at the top. And we'll call this, uh, uh, sometimes we'll call this a shabano because it kind of resembles uh, the perimeter of the hairline, kind of resembles the, the roof and the walls of the shabano. And then the shaved part in the middle kind of resembles the clearing of the shabano. Men and women both have it, uh, but some men, uh, uh, will uh, have this tonsure to proudly display the the cuts or scars that they've incurred from previous club duels. So it's kind of like a, um, a badge of valor to show how, how tough they are and how, how fearless they were, or as the Yanomami would say, why teri. Many Yanomami in remote villages still still wear this tonsure, but as you travel down river closer to the missions, the medical outposts, the schools, you know, AKA the, the outside world, uh, you tend to see the Yanomami youth um, adopting the, the Criollo hairstyle. And, you know, it, it makes sense. You know, the kids kids are kids no matter what culture they're in and they like, they like fitting in with pop culture. So um, it'll be interesting to see uh, the evolution of the Yanomami hairstyle over the next decades. In 2011, mom uh, came up to me and asked to cut my hair and I was very hesitant and ultimately I, I denied her request and I, I felt really bad but I was uh, I was not really too keen on the bowl haircut. When mom asked me to cut, cut my hair I, I was like uh, I don't I don't really want it and 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 I was afraid that you know she was going to make that little tonsure at the top of my head so I you know I, I, I said no no I don't I, um, you know uh, you can do anything but you can't touch the do. 
But, um, you know, upon reflection and, and on the subsequent trip in 2013, I, I felt guilty, you know, and I, and I realized that this would have meant a lot to mom. So I brought a pair of scissors and I gave it to her and I said, hey, you know, let's have it. Here's a picture uh, of mom giving me a haircut. I'll, I'll never forget this day. It was an emotional experience for both of us, you know, and mom missed out on so many of my haircuts growing up, hundreds of them. And we were both overfilled with, with joy to be sharing such a special bonding activity. And I, I, I didn't care what I looked like afterwards, just, just as long as it made mom happy. Then my brother stepped in and put on some finishing touches with my electric clippers and I was I was quite impressed with his work. He must have gained some experience downriver among the Naba, uh, known as the Nanyanomami, during his travels. Then the morning after, mom smeared some red nana paint, which is uh, a paste derived from the anato seeds. So there you have it, it's my very first Yanomami makeover. And after it was all said and done, you know, I, I looked into mom's eyes and, and she started, you know, getting this very emotional and started tearing up and, and I was getting a little bashful, but uh, I'm so happy I did it because it, it really meant so much to her to, to have, you know, to share that kind of activity together, even and she because she missed uh, basically uh, most of that growing up, and uh, and it meant a lot to her, and it meant a lot to me. So I look forward to the next trip and and having another another haircut party with my family and my mom. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and make sure you post uh, any comments or questions down below. And I look forward to the next video. Take care. Bye.